We all have dreams in life. I have many, but my biggest dream above all else is to be a professional content creator. I love doing this, I love entertaining, and what I wanna to say to you right now is if you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe, because with your support, I'll be able to make that goal a reality. Thank you. I mean, it's always about what fits the agenda, really, isn't it? That's what education has and has always been. I mean, <laughs> if you grew up in the UK, you know, I mean, it's not that we kind of glamorize our history in the sense that we're perfect, but we sure as hell don't actually go into the the details of like what actually happened and say like what the empire actually looks like in terms of, you know, what was done to facilitate that. Um, it's a very kind of, uh, how do I put this? Uh, I can't find the way. It, it's like uh, it's not exactly presented the way things actually happened. It's a very kind of like you got a skewed narrative. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But every country has that. Every country has that. You know, like I, I remember having an argument with an mm -hmm. ex-girlfriend one time about um, uh, I think it was like Soviet Union or something like that because they didn't properly teach us that at school and uh yeah like yeah in, in the uk they teach it, they teach it and they go on and on and on and on about the nazis like nazis bad socialism yes, that's bad. exactly it they'll tell right. they'll say mm -hmm. but that's the thing yep. they when they talk about uh the soviet union they go well you know uh, they were communists which is bad but you know they were our allies in the war so that's good and and that's it and then they go well hold on yep. hold on a second and uh, I remember having a massive argument with, with this ex-girlfriend about this. And she said, watch this fucking documentary. So I watched that. And then I was like, oh. And then I remember going to her country and seeing like history museums, documentation, God knows, like, talking to people that actually lived it. And I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then I found yeah, out that like, that. well, the Soviets actually made like the Nazis look like Teletubbies by comparison. Yeah. If you look at the numbers and uh, the years and years and 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 the um, how they divided up Europe and all of these different things, it's like so much worse. If anything, the Nazis just based what they their model on what the Soviets did. You know, right. down to every T. Even like um, not many people know this, but extermination camps. Yeah, uh, they actually I think they were either built by the Soviets or they took the like the building plan of what the Soviets used and used that to build their own extermination camps. Yep. But yeah, yeah. people that's, that's the thing they don't teach us in school. And and they do that for a reason because basically they don't want to push back against that narrative against the the socialist narrative 